What is up guys? Welcome back to Shannon Bradford Outdoors. Um, I just wanted to pull out my ice fishing stuff, make sure everything's all good to go, uh, and then share with you the gear that I use. Um, keep in mind if you do need any gear or if you're know, wanting to buy anything, I do have Amazon links down below. So we'll go ahead and check that out. It does help the channel, but let's get right into it. All right, let's start over here. Um, I always use these. It's the cleats, you know, so you're not slipping and falling. Always have some ice picks for safety. I carry a bait puck with me for worms, millworms, and then I think a uh, like absolute must as well as knee pads. Um, always running around, you know, running and gunning. Um, knee pads help a lot. Um, really comfy. They also, you know, make it so your pants don't get wet, your snow pants. Um, and then we'll go to the sled here. So I just got a small, small sled, but it holds my, it holds my tent. Got an ice auger, um, a chair as well, and all of this will fit underneath that, uh, underneath the tent there. Another important, really important thing to use, especially during ice or like the first ice, is an ice pick or like a uh, a spud bar. This one um, unscrews into three different sections. It has a blade here on the end. Super nice um, for checking for thin ice. I got a green light here that I use sometimes. I got a melt crate I can put all my tackle in, all my other gear. Um, I got four rod holders, PVC pipe rod holders on it, as well as the ice scoop. Uh, on top I can hold my fish finder which is the, the Garmin Striker 4 with the ice deucer. Um, that will also be the, the ice deucer will also be on Amazon. A lot of people are always in need of that. So be sure to check that out. I got a Vexlar underwater camera that also fits on top or you can swap places with the, the fish finder. I got the underwater camera from a good buddy of mine, Tyson. So shout out to you, Tyson. Addy over here as well. I got a shovel, which really nice when there's a lot of snow. You can even out the ground, scoop some uh, snow on the sides of your tent. Got a buddy heater. Um, if you're cooking meals, you can get a, the paint. The paint, great. Um, cook on top of it, which is super, super nice. Overnighters, I'll plug it into a, a bigger um, propane tank, so I'm not having to swap out those little ones. Um, my tent is non-insulated, so if I'm doing an overnighter or something, um, I do have Reflectix material that I'll wrap around the whole sides um, and top. It just holds in the heat better, insulates it, which is really, really nice. And then again, if I'm doing overnighters, I got the exercise pads, another sled that I'll attach to the back here. And I sleep. You can either sleep on a on a cot or a zero gravity chair there. So kind of whatever works for you. Jaw jacker, super 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 important. I think um, you, I catch a ton of fish on the jaw jacker just having it sit there as a dead stick. And then for pike and sometimes walleye and uh, burbot, sometimes trout as well. I'll use the, the tip ups. Got thermals in there as well as just the regular. Uh, old school tip ups. So, yeah. One other thing while you're camping, never forget your carbon monoxide detector. Alrighty, guys, that's a little video of the ice fishing gear that I use. Um, if you want me to go to, into deeper detail about anything, drop a comment down below. Um, other than that, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for me. We'll see you on the ice.